everyone. Welcome back to another 52 licks. We're turning the corner and uh, starting to wrap this puppy up. We're going to uh, do a lick that I picked up from Joe Farnsworth. This was a lick, uh, he, I think it's like a cell phone video of him uh, taking these, these ridiculous fours or whatever overseas. Um, uh, he plays it particularly that sticks out to me, which we're going to talk about in a minute. But before we talk about it, let's check out Joe playing that lick. <laughs> What I really like about this lick is it reminds me of a lick he was talking to me about the last time he came through town, uh, or at least came through town uh, on a gig I was on. We were hanging out afterwards. He was talking about uh, Art Taylor. He's, he's gleaned a lot of great information from AT. But he was specifically talking to me about the way he would combine five strokes and seven stroke rolls into these cool patterns. And what's really cool about this little lick is it's based off of that. But it's kind of uh, Joe's own twist to it. So I'm going to break down the first part of the phrase. Remember, we've been talking about creating longer phrases and thinking of them as, as words, or, right, that connect to one big sentence. So he's going to play three five-stroke rolls with a bass drum in between the first two. So simply like this. And then after that... After that third five-stroke roll, he's going to move back over to the snare drum and play a seven-stroke roll, starting with our left, but the seventh stroke is the bass drum. So put those together. To me, that's the first little phrase of the sentence. From there, he's going to continue going back. He's going to go back to the five-stroke roll. So after he plays... He's going to go to the tom for that. But instead of finishing the five, one, two, three, four, five bass drum, he's going to play one, two, three, four, and then the fifth note is the bass drum. And then he's, and then he's going to come back to the snare for uh, its right, right uh, buzz or right, right, left, left. It's kind of a little hard to tell. Uh, so let's work over just that much so far. Then he's going to end with that little thing that we worked on last week uh, that Jojo Mayer uh, played, which is which is that combination of right, left, left for an, a downbeat accent and right, sorry, right, yeah, right, left, left for the downbeat accent and right, right, left for the upbeat accent, upbeat accent. So it's. Sweet little phrase there, and uh, again, notice how, how these guys are stringing together uh, great stock um, language uh, that a lot of the bebop and, and swing masters put together. They're just kind of putting their own spin on it, making it their own, but it still sounds like the language that is connected to this entire lineage of jazz. Great little Joe Farnsworth lick. Uh, check out a whole bunch more of Joe Farnsworth. Uh, if he comes to your town, go grab him, buy him a drink. He's got amazing stories to tell about living in New York and, and meeting all these great drummers. See you on the next one. Good luck. Mm -hmm.